Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and I'm the Scraptastic Crocheter. Uh, welcome to my channel and today I have squishy mail. So I have not one but two uh, packages from Hobby and this one and I'm gonna say right now I purchased with my own money. This one is gifted um, and this is um, to be a part of a, a like an arts project a clothing collection type of thing so it's the designer that has purchased the yarn and I'm just gonna make a small um, part of the whole like project so this is my con contribution uh, that I'm gonna put my skills and my time into a piece of art. So the, the designer purchased that yarn, I purchased this, and uh, I'm not affiliated with Hobby or anything, so I'm not sponsored uh, other than like the designer that wants me to help out, if you can call that sponsored. So that's that. I have opened the bags to avoid a lot of plasticky sounds. And I did already take like the packing slips out. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start with what I have here. And something else that did come out of this, I, I did have a couple of items that was wrapped in this bubble wrap. So I removed the bubble wrap of noises and stuff they were really nicely taped uh, I have this very mysterious very not telling box unless you look at this small label I don't know how it looks inside because I haven't opened it I don't know if this is like the final packaging but these are plastic pellets that's five millimeters and it's one kilogram and this is to stuff um, amigurumis to get like you know a little bit of weight into them so I have this and I'm gonna also add stuffing uh, so this is just like to get you know a little heavier butt or you know more stable um, but yeah I haven't opened it I don't know if this is how it's packaged it was packaged also in bubble wrap I don't know if there's maybe like a plastic bag or something inside, but I do know that if I have a spillage of these, since, you know, they're five millimeters each, they're like tiny, tiny pebbles, they will be all over the place. So I'm, I'm going to let you know when I've opened it, what they look like and all of that, but that's not now. And let's just dig out. I have some polyester filling 100 grams and they're vacuum sealed and this one actually has the vacuum like uh, yeah it's it's not vacuum sealed anymore so it's starting to fluff up and if you buy more of them you get discounts so I bought three of them and I got like a discount for purchasing several at a time but I'm making some stuffed animals that's why I needed the plastic um, pellets and some more filling and stuffing. I don't often do, you know, animals and amigurumis. I don't think there's been that many on my channel featured at all. But I have had a, a couple of requests uh, after I had a little um, fun idea. I might say. I know that there's some more in here. Okay, so I did get one of each of these from the point store or point shop before. These Friends Cotton 8-4. And I have done a couple of um, owls. Amigurumi type owls. And I plan to show them soon. I just 
haven't had time to make videos and you know but i have been nibbling at these that i had in my staff stash i had one of each and now i just have one of each again because this is the colors i have uh, used from the stash i had and then a candy of course not of course there has been issues with candies from time to time but most of my orders i do get candies i am venturing into trying tunisian crochet just to like you know test my skills try something different new techniques and whatnot this is a five millimeter hook it's 30 centimeters long and it's not the type where you can put a cable or anything it's just a standard straight almost looks like a knitting needle with a hook pretty much so i don't really have a plan other than i want to try it and that's that uh, as a hobby plus a gift i did get this needle case which is nice to put some of my bigger uh, darning needles and stuff in it, just so I know where I have them. Nice. Freebies are always nice. So, let's dig into the actual yarn. And I'm going to try and do this in a decent way. First off. I have these two and I have a plan for them and I'm gonna share my plans with the yarns that I have purchased the ones that I do have a plan for these are twisters 55% uh, cotton 45% acrylic you have seen me purchase these before and uh, they were on sale again and uh, my original plan was I wanted a certain color way of Sultan Deluxe, but it just never got to a good sale price, and uh, I just figured like uh, these colors will work. Um, it's it's gonna be fine. Maybe not what I was envisioning in the first place, per se, but it's gonna be a baby blanket for a boy. And I'm gonna start in the center, work my way out, and then I'm gonna work my way out um, in. So it's starting with a green and it's ending with a green and a blue stripe in the middle. And it's going to be a square blanket. So it's it's going to be pretty. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, the colorway I had in mind in the beginning was just like a light color going to the dark. Um, like turquoises. It's Sultan Deluxe. I think it's called Parabai Termaline or Paraiba Termaline or something like that. And I really love that color but it just the price wasn't right and um, the price on these was very very good and i figured why not like if if i change my mind i can always do something else with these um classified as a two weight fine 250 grams 8.8 .8 ounces 1000 meters 1093 yards Wash cold, no tumble dry, lay flat to dry. Recommended the uh, crochet hook, three and a half to four millimeters or three to four millimeters knitting needles. The uh, color is 42 and it's cold water reef. Really nice, squishy, soft, love it. Smells nice, clean fabric, textile. Yeah, it's just nice. So we have that, I'm gonna I'm leaving one out so you can see it because there's going to come more. Okay. So baby blanket, not sure of pattern more than it's going to be a square. Next, we have another twister. All my yarns in my bag that I purchased is twisters. The other bag, no. Uh, we have color number six. Don't remember the color name on this one, but it starts with a dark red, pink, and then it goes out to lighter pinks, whites, grays, and ends with the black. And I do know that there's two varieties that's very similar to this one that starts with a lighter pink or, you know, lighter hues of this. And it ends with a gray instead of a black. 
and then there's an even lighter version with even lighter pinks and an uh, even lighter gray at the end. So there's three very similar ones, and this is the darkest of the three. Um, did I say color number six? Yeah, I think so. Um, this is... I'm planning to make this into a shawl for um, a family member that recently got diagnosed with breast cancer. And that it will be starting treatment next week. And I figured, well, you know, chemo is going to make you cold. So why not a shawl made with love? And um, I hope it's going to be, you know, a little bit of a happiness or, you know, you can't really feel happy in that situation. But, you know, maybe a little bit of a smile sometimes. But I, I'm not totally sure about like this black. I know that the person is a very, wears a lot of black and white and not a lot of color. So it just feels like classic colors. It could be uh, and just, you know, enough of a pop of color. Um, I'm just worried that it's going to be too dark on the end. But I also know that the shawls, when you get to the end, the colors are very, like, long rows usually on a um, triangular shawl. So the colors are usually, like, shorter and shorter amounts. Almost like a small frame. So I'm hoping it's going to be good for that so yeah that's what I'm planning with that one and uh, next we have something cactus is a cactus flower I think color number 44 also twister and we're starting um, with an almost lavenderish like there's some lavenderish hues into these pinks and I should say, all of them has these easy start. They're like hidden. But I know that they're there. I just have to dig for them a little bit. They're nice that I don't have them like flopping around. It's actually good. Because sometimes they can be a little bit pulled out and go all over the place. This one surprised me. Um, I don't know why. But I've always seen this on the web page, and I've been like, oh, it's pink, and then there's yellow, and where the pinks and the yellows fade together, you get these orangey, you know, combinations. But there's actually actual orange in here. And I totally missed that. I don't know how, but I was like just seeing this, and I was seeing like pinks and yellows, and when pink and yellow fade you have like orange-ish, you know, it, it looks a bit orange. Um, so that was a, a surprise. I'm seeing these like lavenderish and then more of a bright poppy pink or like... And it just, for some reason, just totally went over my head that there's actually orange in it. Um... Totally fine by me. I'm not mad about it or anything. I would just... How can I be so blind? But I, then again, I wasn't looking for it. So I have no plans for it. I just wanted to see these colors for myself. And I'm really loving these bright greens. It's feeling a bit like apple green to me. And I'm really... Like, I'm, I'm digging green. I wasn't a big fan of green before, but... Like green has been become more and more my friend, so. Oh, I have another one of these minis games. And then there's one more. And Deja Vu, I think, Deja Vu. This one is just screaming um, water lily, I think the flower is called. You know, the ones that's on the water that has... Like, often yellow, and then you see the green petals, and some of them are white, and some of them are pinks. And we have a couple of varieties here in Sweden. They're either, like, yellow, very roundish bud type, almost, with a few petals that are very rounded petals. I don't know if I can... <laughs> I, I can't even 
describe it, but they're very yellow. And then we have the pink and the white ones that are more, they have more petals and they're like pointy leaved petals. Uh, so they're like very, you know, pointy and they're more of them. So I don't know. And these turquoise teal, there's a dark blue around in here before it goes into the more bluish green. It, it just feels like water, leaves, flower, gorgeous. I have one of this from before and I have been thinking about making something a little bit larger. Um, not a dress per se uh, and not really a, just a top. I'm thinking more of a, you know, somewhere in between. Um, and one cake is not enough for it, so I figured I'd get one more and uh, see where I get from there. So that's that. So two of that and one of each of them, all the small ones and whatnot. So these will make a nice backdrop over here and we'll get to this. And I did not pick the colors. I had no idea what was in this one until I opened it. And I have opened it. I did. I had to sneak peek. I could tell that it looks a little bit red through the plastic. Because, you know, this plastic is not totally um, covering. Or, you know, some colors do show through the plastic a little bit. But it looks a bit red to me. Which is not... <laughs> Because it's very pink and I'm really loving this deep, 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 dark, is it magenta? Yeah, it's just gorgeous and light pink on the outside. So this is a uh, Cotton King's Sultan. This is not the Sultan Deluxe, this is Sultan. And Sultan is four strands not twisted together. The twister strands are well do we have here they are twisted together and this one's not i'm fine with either way it's just a technique thing and uh, i've worked so much with these cakes that um i don't really notice the difference uh, i don't have issues with splitting i don't use the bead um technique that a lot of people are suggesting because I just don't feel like I need it. I'm just, I'd say I've worked with it enough to, to have learned to deal with it without all of that other uh, extra stuff that you can try uh, when you're trying to get used to it. But I'm loving these pinks. I have not had this color before and not the other one either. I had another one lighter than the other one, but no. It's going to be really fun to work these up. And another candy. Look at these colors. We have a dark teal. And there is a lighter teal type minty color. I think this one's called indigo light or in something like that. And then there's a, I think it's called emerald. Uh, and emerald is the lighter of the two so we have another sultan uh let's see we can talk about specs here we have another two fine 100 percent cotton 800 meters 874 yards 200 grams seven ounces uh, three and a half to four millimeter crochet hook three and a half no two and a half to three and a half millimeter knitting needle uh, wash cold, lay flat to dry, made in India, color number 41, color number 48. Really lovely colors. And uh, as requested by the designer, I'm going to start with this one. So you will see this one hopefully very soon. I know I have not uploaded anything for quite some time now, and uh, there's multiple reasons to why I haven't uploaded anything for a while. Um, 
there's been a lot of things going on in my life. There's some, you know, issues with my mental health. I have been crocheting away, but I just haven't found, you know, the social media has just been not what I've turned to or, you know, I, I love sharing my crochet with you guys and it has it's like both uh, um, something i really enjoy but also it has been weighing on me that i've had a like guilty conscience and felt bad that i haven't uploaded that i haven't been sharing the stuff i've made i've made a lot of things that i've i've just you know i i was getting insecure if my pictures was good enough as if the lighting was good enough to post pictures on my Instagram I've I know I should just like go with it post whatever I have I know the issues or like that I'm thinking is not where my focus should be because that's not the why I'm doing this I'm doing this for the love of yarn for the love of crochet but it's just felt like I'm it's, it hasn't been good enough um, so nothing really happened I have plenty of videos that I want to make I have half done videos that's pretty much ready to be published um, I've had more limitations on when I've been able to sit down and record as well as where I normally sit um, recording some types of videos is in my kitchen and my kitchen count like the table that I've usually been sitting at has been turned into a puzzle table for the past few weeks months something there's basically been a puzzle constantly on the table in the kitchen since I don't know, March sometime. <laughs> and since I haven't been able to sit there, because I don't want to move the puzzle to record, um, yeah, it's been limiting. And uh, right now I'm sitting on my couch. And usually if you've been here for a live, you might have seen that my couch is red. It's not red right now, but I figured, like, this is just a blanket. But, like, the red blanket that I normally have on my couch is it would take way too much of you know the colors it, it it's too much of a distra distraction preferably I would want a white backdrop just so you could actually see the colors as pure as possible but I'm hoping that this shows up good enough it looks good enough from what I can tell but I don't know I'm uh, hoping it's true to color I'm loving these yarns by the way but I'm just restricting myself and uh, I hope this is gonna turn it a bit because it's been a while since I had a haul to show and uh, they are probably the more easy fun videos to make but if I would only make haul videos I would go bankrupt <laughs> Um, because yarn is not the cheapest, as most of you probably already know. <laughs> and, um, you know, I have to make do with what I have as well. The only reason, like, I, I had to get some yarn for baby blankets. This was not my, like, number one choice. But that was what was on sale right now, at a price that I was comfortable with spending. And basically why I placed an order was mostly for the stuffing um, the plastic uh, pebbles and you know I I still have some stuffing but I figured I might run out of stuffing so I might as well just get some new of the regular you know fluffy stuff I don't know how far I'm gonna get with this this is 100 gram and this feels really densely packed together so I'm guessing when I open this bag up it's gonna grow even though like the vacuum seal has broken on this one it 
feels really dense. So it's going to be nice to try that one because I haven't tried the Hobby Own brand before. Yeah. And as I said, with these ones, I just needed to replace the ones I had stolen out of my stash because I needed one of each. That's just how it's going to go. I'm going to keep one of each at in my stash at all times, I guess. Um, and also, like, I do have a plan for them, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Because I want to include all of you guys when I make that part. So, um, they're just going to sit on the back burner for a bit. And uh, we'll see when I get time for that. Yeah, these are just here. And, uh, candies. Awesome. Just arranging a little bit here. Maybe this is going to be my thumbnail full of everything here let's see squeeze it in here maybe i'll arrange it somehow at some point but you know that's also a part of it doubting yourself and you know i'm trying to cheer myself up and um, hopefully stuff will turn soon um hopefully like, today has been a really tough day. The yarn is really helping to cheer me up. But um, I didn't know this day was going to be a hard day. Since it is a year since we found um, Hobby's brother deceased. Um, so we've been to the cemetery lighting some candles and such. Uh, also my best friend's birthday, so I had to drop by there. Deliver some birthday gifts, have a coffee, all of that, and um, we've known for about a week that there's been issues, like, I, I shouldn't say issues, because Hubby's had, well, his, his work has had apparently, like, some bad numbers of late because of recession and whatnot. So they decided to lay off some people, and we didn't know what that was going to mean for us. If Hubby was going to be a part of that or not. And today it got finalized that tomorrow is basically his last day at work. So he's working tomorrow, and then, um, yeah. So that's not the most fun news either, on a day like this, when he was hoping to just like remember his brother go to the cemetery take care of that stuff and also he had to go to the dentist for an emergency appointment because he bit a tooth to I don't know he chipped it or something this weekend and it was sharp so <laughs> it was just so much shit going on and it just felt like I needed some happiness and I've been waiting for this yarn since last week um, I've noticed that Hobby has had a lot of orders lately. Their shipping times has been um, a bit longer compared to what I'm used to. And I'm in Sweden. Um, usually, like, if I place an order, sometimes if I'm lucky, uh, they might even get it shipped the same day if I place an order in the morning. They ship it in the afternoon and I will have it the next day. If it's just regular work days. Weekends different, of course. But I placed this order mid last week. And today is Tuesday. So it got packaged during the weekend. And it got shipped yesterday, which is Monday. So it took them like probably three days before they actually packed it. Which is not normal. But I'm... I'm happy that they're getting, you know, more orders in because I, I love their yarn and I'm happy that more people are finding them and can, you know, enjoy the yarn with me because that's always fun and nice and all of that. So, done with the shitty talk from, you know, all of the stuff that happened today. Now I'm just going to look forward to digging into this one. This is my priority number one, and then that one, and then that one. I have 
a deadline for these two by midsummer. And this baby blanket with these two needs to be made by end of August. This one, of course, I'm going to speed up as fast as I can for, um, you know, she will be starting chemo next week. She was going to try out a wig this week because she will lose her hair. She will get chemo, uh, radiation, and surgery. So I'm guessing this is going to be a really tough time. Some people don't need all of them. She's getting all of them. Um, so she needs this sooner rather than later. So this is what I'm going to be working on. This is just going to be tucked away for now. And uh, when I get to whatever I get to, I will show you. I will try to do my best to get better <laughs> sharing. I have been posting pictures on my Instagram now and then. And um, yeah. That is a little bit easier for me to do. Because I can do that even when the kids are shouting in the background. Because you don't have the noise in Instagram pictures. Which is nice. But yeah. If you enjoyed this haul video, there is more haul videos on my channel. And uh, most of them are hobby. Because hobby is my thing. Uh, and it's the easiest way for me to get yarn. I don't have... I, I live in a small town, we have a local yarn store that basically have nothing because they mostly focus on fabrics, not yarn. And so I have to order online and I go to the place where I think has the best yarns, to my liking. There's, of course, other yarn stores online that has other types of yarns, but I like these thinner types of yarns. And so that's... Yeah, if you like them, you have come to the right place because I have playlists with hobby hauls. And if you don't like that, then maybe there's something else on my channel that you enjoy because I do have uh, a few tutorials. I have some more in the making at some point. I even have designs uh, in the making. So that's <laughs> that for now. I'm done with the rambling. I've rambled enough. If you stuck with me this far like thank you very much very 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 much um i do appreciate each and every one of you so i hope you have a great rest of your day i'm just gonna go crash now um i'm even though i really would love to dig into this right now there's no energy tonight i'm just gonna sleep and dig into this first thing in the morning uh, i'm not even gonna bother with you know cleaning my kitchen tonight so another you know for another day <laughs> thank you have a great rest of your day and uh, good night or have a great rest of your day or something you know bye bye for now